Hey everybody, Black Specter Comics, and I'm back. If you want to see what books I picked up today at a local comic book shop, stay tuned. Alright, so uh, welcome back. Thanks for checking out the video. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you have that bell notification on, so I really appreciate it when you do check out the content. So, uh, like I said, I had some time today. Went to um, a new shop, a new shop out in uh, New Bedford, um, and I figured I had some time, so why not check this out? The place was called uh, Temptations Comics, Guitars, and Toys, I believe, was something like that. So yeah, it had comic books, toys, and guitars. Interesting uh, collab there, but uh, owner was really nice. Let me browse through the back issue bins. Had some good stuff, a lot of uh, cheap books. Um, also had some new comics as well, but it was mainly back issue stuff. So um, did a little pick in there, was about there for about half an hour, and uh, ended up picking up four books. So um, I'm gonna show you what I picked up. So uh, first book, I talked about this before. Uh, I've been trying to pick up those um, issues with the uh, Green Lantern Volume 3 with um, Kyle Rayner, just to kind of complete that whole, um, I think it's issues 48 through 53. And I finally picked up my uh, Tom Brady cover. So Steve, you'll like this. <laughs> this is uh, Green Lantern issue number 49. I call it the Tom Brady homage cover. You see him, uh, this guy right here, who looks something like Tom Brady, not exactly, but uh, but he's also holding up all of these uh, Green Lantern rings, which I call them the Super Bowl rings. So uh, glad to finally have this book in the collection. Um, next book was the uh, I saw this on the on the wall. He had some really cheap wall books there too, so I figured I'd pick this up. Never had the chance to get this in the wild before, so I was happy to see this there. And this is uh, Invincible Iron Man, issue number 10. This is uh, World's Most Wanted, part 3. And this is the uh, variant cover by, um, I want to say it's, yeah, Sal Salvador La Roca. And um, paid 10 bucks for it. It's pretty cheap. Ends up, uh, this is the uh, first appearance of Pepper Potts' as Rescue. So this is a nice little spec book to, to look out for if you do see it in the wild. Pick this up. Um, next book is going to be your, um, let's see, this is going to be a hot book, hot book alert. So uh, if you see this book in the wild, scoop it up for you, uh, for the speculators. This is Mighty Thor issue number 459. Rather hot book after some set leak photos showed from Thor, what was it? Yeah, Thor Love and Thunder. Um, showed um, the character played by, uh, was it Thor? I forget his name, geez. Drawing a blank right now. But um, showed him in uh, set photos dressed up as uh, the character Eric Masterson plays as Thunderstrike. So this is the, uh, that's what's key about this book is Eric Masterson dons the Thunderstrike outfit. So, um, this book's become rather hot since the set photos leak. It's like a $25 to $50 book raw. So if you can get this book cheap in the dollar bins, pick it up. And then the last book, um, I was really surprised he had that there. He had it behind the counter. I was just going to get those three books. And then um, I saw this book back there. We were talking a little bit about Star Wars and um, how like some of these books are just flying off the shelves, like within the last year, nobody cared about Star Wars, but then since Mandalorian, it's like, it's just gone stratospheric. So, um, the book in question, Star Wars, X-Wing, Rogue Squadron, The Rebel Opposition, number one, this is from the Dark Horse run, and uh, he told me this book wasn't, you know, it wasn't high grade, it was a little beat up, so I was like, I asked him, what are you asking for? I was like, five bucks. I was like, Shh. I'm going to take it. And he pointed this out. It's a new stamp. So this book came out in 93. So uh, pretty desirable. So I was like, all right, this is, you know, a nice little score to get this book. 
Um, he told me he had the uh, the other one there too, but he sold that one right away. It was like a near mint copy. I think he sold it for like 60 bucks. And that book's crazy expensive right now. So um, that's it. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that. Just a quick little haul. I ended up uh, picking up a few books and I was just, you know, had some time. So I wanted to record the video. So uh, hopefully if you like that, hit the thumbs up. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I like to throw in some uh, content from time to time, hopefully a, a video a week if I can, and uh, throw that notification bell up. So uh, until next time, rocks with the comics. Out.